Hey guys, welcome to Just Simply Sisters. My name's Taylin. And I'm Taryn. And we are both sisters and we are also vegans. And today we're going to be doing a taste test of a vegan chocolate brand. And as vegans it can be hard sometimes to find really good chocolates that are dairy free. This brand we've heard is really good so we're going to try them for you today. We've tried a couple in the past. We've tried the regular chocolate one but we're just trying it again today to try to like know what it tastes like so we can compare the other ones. And then we've also tried just the plain white chocolate one. So we know it's already good but we have a bunch of different flavors to try today so we'll mm -hmm. let you know if it's good or not. Mm -hmm. You can get them all online mm -hmm. for sure. Yes. Well, I'm excited, so mm -hmm. should we start with the classic one first then? And sure. we'll just rate them. Should we rate them on a scale of like one to five? We'll so rate them one to five. We've already tried this one, but mm -hmm. we thought we'd just start more with, chocolate. Yeah, start <laughs> with the plain ones first. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so yeah, this one's just the plain chocolate one. They are like classified as vegan on the back too, yeah. just in case. Yeah, some of them even say vegan on the front. <laughs> and I think most of them are made with rice milk, I think, to kind of make it creamier. Since most dairy-free chocolates are dark chocolate, but some mm -hmm. of these are milk and white chocolate. So, yeah, okay. Do we want to do a cheers? cheers. Chocolate cheers. <laughs> I should have wrote water. Oh yeah. It's so good. <laughs> I think it tastes pretty close to mm -hmm. regular milk chocolate. And before this, I haven't actually had any vegan milk chocolate. It's always been like dark chocolate, mm -hmm. like 60 or percent or above. So it's nice to be able to have an option to have like the sweetness of like a mm -hmm. normal milk chocolate rather mm -hmm. than like a dark. really dark chocolate. Yeah. And our dad's also tried the milk chocolate one and he thinks it tastes like normal chocolate mm -hmm. and he's not vegan no. so <laughs> what would you rate it i don't know i'll say i'll say it's a four for now because it's not yeah. outstanding like it's not like oh my god this is the best chocolate i've had but it is really good for a vegan chocolate yeah i'll do four two four to five four chocolate so okay. i'm excited for this one so this one's a white nougat nougat crisp nougat nougat, nougat? 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 <laughs> nougat? <laughs> I don't know. nougat crisp so it's a white chocolate and then on the front it has hazelnuts. So I think it's like a white chocolate hazelnut with like a little brittle thing inside. So I am so excited mm -hmm. for this one. One cool thing about their wrappers on the inside too, they actually say they are compostable. So the whole entire packaging is compostable, which is nice because you're not wrecking the planet. <laughs> so there's like, yeah, yeah. little Ooh, pieces this of- this one's creamy. Three. I already tried it. <laughs> Do one. It's crunchy. Mm. Mm. You don't like it? No. You know what it tastes exactly like? Mm. Ferrero Rocher's. Oh really? Rocher? No, I haven't. It tastes exactly like a Ferrero Rocher, but in a bar. It tastes like perfume to me. It's because of the hazelnut. Really? Yeah. It's because of the strong hazelnut taste, but I really like that. It tastes exactly like a Ferrero Rocher. So if you like Ferrero Rochers, get that. I feel like you like things that are more like sweet and stuff. Like you like that like mm -hmm. strong sweet taste, but I like like a rich like. I don't. I don't know how to explain no, yeah, it. I so know what you mean. that one's. Not, I don't no? Okay. Walk I'll give that a five. A I five? Really, like, really? I really liked it. <laughs> um, I'd say... I'd say it's a... Mm, like a three. Maybe really? a two and a half. I guess it depends on the person. Some mm -hmm. people don't like white chocolate. But. Yeah. Okay. It's. I like the white chocolate one. That one's actually my favorite bar I've tasted. But that doesn't taste like it. It's too, like sweet. I don't know. It's the hazelnut it. taste. Yeah, it is. Okay, the next one we have is almond orange. So I think it has like little almond slivers and then it's orange chocolate. Do you like orange chocolate? Mm -mm. <laughs> I like orange I, chocolate. I'm really bad. I don't like like milk chocolate or orange chocolate or I just like you my chopped or yeah. Yeah, mint. Mint. yeah. I just like my like plain chocolate just <laughs> I like strawberries and chocolate, but I don't like like raspberry flavored yeah. chocolate. I feel like orange chocolate's like very mixed. Like I, some people yeah. like love it. Same with mint and chocolate some too. Yeah. 
If any of you have ever had, like at Christmas, the little chocolate oranges, it smells oh, like those. Yeah. It so, smells like my essential oils. <laughs> Tastes like orange chocolate. Which I guess it should because that's what it is. It Do does like taste it? like orange chocolate. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know why I ate the other piece. But... I don't know. I don't mind mm. it. It does taste like regular milk orange mm -hmm. chocolate though. It does taste like orange chocolate. I just don't yeah. know if I like, like orange all of chocolate. These, <laughs> all of these you can't really you can't tell that it's dairy free. Like I think mm -hmm. all of them we've tried like taste very milky and very creamy. yeah. They don't yeah. melt in your mouth as like easily as like regular milk chocolate. I don't think it melts as much either, but mm -hmm. It tastes exactly like it's this. it's really good. It's really just smooth almost like it's not as like cream in your mouth But it's just smooth like mm -hmm. it and you know how when you get like I'm sure all you vegans know that like when you get dark chocolate That's vegan. It's just very like Like very crunchy mm -hmm. right where these are like smooth so I'll give it a three. Oh yeah. Because I think it's okay, but if you like orange chocolate, I think you would give it like a five. I'd, I'd probably give it a four. Uh, I, I'd say it's like a five or 4.5 for orange chocolate, but on my scale, probably a three because I don't love orange chocolate. You gave it a three too. Oh, wow, I thought you'd give yeah. it lower. So our next one is a super nut chocolate bar. So it is just the plain chocolate and then the milk chocolate. And then it has hazelnuts, so this should be great. <laughs> you haven't tried that one yet? No, I've I haven't tried it. Tried it. And it's good. Yeah, it's good. It probably tastes exactly like the hazelnuts. <laughs> Do you not like hazelnut? I love hazelnuts. Apparently I so. don't. I never, isn't Nutella hazelnuts? Yeah. Yeah, I never like Nutella, so maybe that's why. You're going to offend a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, sorry to all you Nutella lovers out there. Um... I don't like Nutella. <laughs> the wrapper all over the oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh my god, there's like, I'm gonna have to show you guys. There's legit like chunks of a hazelnut. Like, hmm. okay, okay. Well, cheers. See, that doesn't taste like the other. It doesn't. It tastes different. Mm -hmm. This tastes. Like if you were to get like chocolate with almonds in it or chocolate with like any type of nut in it or like even peanuts, it kind of tastes like that. I think the dip, or no, it does taste. That like one has hazelnut bridder. Brittle? This brittle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bridder. <laughs> um, I actually like that one. If you like nuts and chocolate, I'll give it a four, 4.5. I'll give it a four and a half, yeah. motorcycle outside. Is that what it is? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Next, we're gonna try these little tiny ones. They're so, new. Yeah, so these ones are new. They actually, on the front, do say vegan as well. So they're all vegan. Like, they all try to make sure they are vegan. These ones have coconut sugar in them. So instead of doing the Natural rice... sweetener. Yeah, they're more like... I think the other ones yeah. use cane sugar and this one's like coconut sugar. Yeah. I think coconut sugar has like a lower glycemic something hmm. in her. I don't know. It's like, it doesn't spike your blood sugar mm -hmm. as much, I don't think. So it's like a healthier, I think they're trying to do like some healthier options too. Because these are all very decadent chocolates, more of a treat. But these mm -hmm. look more, are they dark chocolate? Yeah, these ones are both dark chocolate, so... This one is dark chocolate almond nugget crisp. Nougat. Again, I, I, nougat, I don't know. Um, and then the other one is a dark chocolate with tiger nuts and co cacao nibs. So it's actually nice to have cacao nibs. Try in. That's nice. So we're gonna we're gonna try the dark chocolate one with the nuts and the cacao nibs first. So these are probably more like your typical dairy free or chocolate. Mm -hmm. so I like dark chocolate. Also, these are made in Germany, so it's. Yeah, it's not like an American base. No. Yeah. Which I'm not surprised by. I feel because like they're German kind chocolate of more, is delicious. Yeah, they're more ahead on the chocolate game. Cheers. Oh, that's rich. That's dark chocolate. <laughs> mm. The texture's not as like creamy, I feel mm -hmm. like it's more gritty. That is like it more dark chocolate. Like, it tastes like cocoa powder. 
It does taste like cocoa powder. Which uh, it should, but it's more bitter. It's okay for dark chocolate. I think I've had some better. Dark, dark chocolate, chocolate, fifty-two percent. Yeah, fifty percent. So it's not like super bitter, but you can tell that it's like sweetened with more natural sugars because it's yeah. not as sweet. Yeah. yeah, I'll give it like a two point five. I'll 2. give it 5. a I'll give it a three because like <clears throat> it does taste like dark chocolate. If you wanted dark chocolate, it just it's very rich. Yeah, yeah you more could like have like two dark. bars for dessert in the evening and you'd be like set for your chocolate. Yeah. They must mix in like the nuts with the actual things. I didn't like get a crunch of nuts at all. No, they're very small pieces. Yeah, they're very small. Whereas these ones are actually like oh, pieces. Oh jeez. Yeah, like, these very ones are fragile. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> What's in this one again? These ones have Nougat one, right? almond, I believe. Oh. Nougat yeah. almond. <laughs> mm. That's a weird almondy taste. I actually don't mind it though. It's creamier, way creamier. Way than creamier. But you can definitely taste the almond. Mhm. Mm the almonds are. Simply. It's better than the other one. I'll give it a three point five. Yeah, or four. I don't know. No, three point five. I give it like a three point two five. <laughs> if we're, we're doing going, those, we're but going that specific, uh, probably three point five. I'll say. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's less rich though. It doesn't taste as much like dark chocolate. So this one's the last one, and it is a choco cookie bar. So it basically is like an Oreo chocolate bar, which sounds really good. Hopefully mm -hmm. it's good. It might be too sweet though. That's yeah, it might be really cool. sweet. It just says a cocoa cookie. Mm. So it doesn't say Oreo, so they must use their own thing. Mm. I'm excited for this one. Can you see okay. the cookie? No, it just looks like plain chocolate. Oh, oh on the back you can. It's all bumpy. Chunks. The last one. Actually, do a cheers with me. <laughs> Tastes like an Oreo and chocolate. Mm -hmm. There isn't like a like a very strong Oreo flavor, which I was like expecting. I was expecting it to be like mm -hmm. eating an Oreo, but it's just little pieces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. Yeah. Um, I'd say if you like like really decadent chocolate and you like cookies in your chocolate, <laughs> then not to get that one. Yeah. I still like the white chocolate nougat one. Really? Oh, I don't. One. Okay, what would you rate that? I'll give it a four. It's good. Mm -hmm. I'd say probably a four point five. I actually did like it quite a bit. Okay. What would you say your your favorite is then? This. The one you didn't like. I like so the white chocolate nougat one. That was my tastes, least favorite. It tastes exactly like a Ferrero Rocher, and that's so good. Out of all these, I would almost say just the original is my favorite. I just like how like, creamy it is. But if we did have the plain white chocolate one, I love that one. I wish yeah, I would have brought that one. Yeah. Compared to like other brands of chocolate, I would definitely say they're like way ahead of the game. Oh, way, way ahead. ahead. Just on the and creaminess and the richness and yeah, and just like the variety too. They've definitely found like a good recipe base for their chocolate. Definitely. Which is surprising. I'm surprised that like rice milk is like a really yeah. good They're definitely base. not that cheap. They're not too bad. It was like three or four bucks a bar. I think it's four bucks a it's bar. It's four bucks a bar, so it's not like... But I mean, if you get like regular dark chocolate anyways, it's usually like three bucks. Yeah, so, it's not gonna be the price of like an arrow bar. Like, so don't go buy all of them like we did. Yeah, don't do that. That's gonna be a lot. <laughs> yeah. But if you get one of you once in a while, yeah. it's At good. least you guys can kind of know which ones we like. So maybe these have been around for a really long time and we're just late to the game, mm -hmm. but... <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, I have no idea, but definitely yeah. recommend them. No, and if yeah. you have any vegan chocolate like recommendations that you found that are really good, let us know because mm -hmm. we haven't found the best ones until we found this brand. But yeah, There's exactly. probably tons of other brands out there, we just haven't found them. Yeah. Or we just don't have them where we live, but yeah. let us know if there's 
some better ones that we haven't tried. And also let us know, like, have you guys tried these bars? Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed our video. I'm not sure if it was interesting to watch at all, but I hope you guys can get a little bit of information more on these chocolates, and they are very good, so we recommend them. More videos to come. Yes, yes. We're just trying to start out and make mm -hmm. some, so let us know if there's certain videos you want to see, if you want us to taste test something else, other mm -hmm. brands or something like that. Our recipe but... videos or even, like, how we live as vegans in like not a huge town like LA mm -hmm. and stuff so yeah. yeah if you guys are interested in that let us know and please subscribe and like our videos because it'd be very <laughs> very appreciated because we have like one subscriber <laughs> we're just kind of starting out but even if you're a vegan yourself and you have a page let us know and we can be little vegan friends so <laughs> friends. But thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Yeah. Bye. We out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <Earthquake>. <laughs> oh, goodbye. Uh.